12 Secrets About Barbara Corcoran's Success Every successful person has his own secrets and success tips. Do you want to hear intriguing things about Barbara Corcoran, a real estate icon who created a $5 billion real estate firm from the bottom up and is now a successful author, speaker, consulting investor, and TV personality? So, let's get to know the shark a little better. So here are 12 things you probably didn't know about her. Let's begin. Number 1. She received all D's on her high school report cards. Barbara acknowledges that she was a bad student in high school and college. She barely passed and claims to have fought to achieve consecutive D's on her high school report card. Number 2. Her boyfriend loaned her $1,000 to start her business. Barbara met Ray Simon, a house builder from New Jersey, while working as a waitress and a diner. After the two began dating, he granted her a $1,000 loan, which was worth closer to $6,000 at the moment, and they founded the Corcoran Simone Real Estate Company. When Ray had an affair with his secretary and planned to marry her, the two parted ways, as did their business. Ray assured her she would never achieve without him, which just motivated her to accomplish even harder. Number 3. She has 9 brothers and sisters. Barbara is the second oldest of 10 siblings reared in a two-bedroom house. While her parents slept in the living room, the boy slept in one room and the girls in another. Barbara admitted that she first felt bad about spending $3.5 million on a penthouse apartment, despite coming from such poor roots. But she overcame her remorse and has gone on to make even greater real estate acquisitions. Number 4. By the age of 22, she had worked almost 20 different places. Barbara had to start working early in life to support her huge family which resulted in her having over 20 jobs by the time she was 22. She worked as a newspaper dispatcher, hot dog dealer, bookseller, waitress, and house mother to six orphans in an orphanage. Number 5. Her spot on Shark Tank was initially taken by someone else. A producer called Barbara in 2008 and asked whether she would be ready to invest her own money in a new reality program. Barbara adored the concept and leaped at the chance. She assumed everything was set in stone, so she went out and bought three new dresses and booked a trip to Hollywood. She was about to sign her contract when she was informed that the production team had opted to recruit someone else. Barbara, ever persistent, emails Mark Burnett and tells him she doesn't view his firing as a failure but as a stepping stone to greater achievement, and she asks if she may compete for the position. This made an impact on Mark, and she has since co-starred in all eight seasons of the show. Number 6. She claims that her finest investment was a $360 coat. Barbara was awarded a $360 commission check after she rented out her first unit as a rookie real estate agent. She claims she accepted the money and spent it all on the most costly coat she could find at Bergdorf Goodman. As she recalls, she purchased the most expensive coat with brown and white herringbone and real pearl buttons made of real fur and wore it everywhere for the following three years. She claimed that the coat was the best investment she could have made since it helped her to project confidence and make her feel strong. Number 7. She squandered her first $67,500 of profit. Barbara's firm suffered for 7 or 8 years with little profit before she received a windfall of $77,000 in 1991. She recalls having money in her hand and quickly spending it all 
with no regrets. She described the day she spent that money on a new Lincoln Continental for her father and a new Mercury Cougar convertible for her mother as perhaps the best day of her life. She describes it as the happiest money she has ever spent. Number 8. She decided to sell her firm based on her favorite number. When Barbara chose to sell her enormously profitable business, she originally received a $20 million offer. She informed her lawyer that she would accept no less than $66 million because the number 66 is her lucky number. She found a buyer at that price just a few days later and the deal was finalized in less than two weeks. Number 9. She spent $10 million for an Upper East Side condominium. Barbara and her husband paid $10 million for a glitzy 11-room duplex on New York City's Upper East Side in 2015. It has a 66-foot wraparound English garden terrace, conservatory, and solarium as well as spectacular views of Central Park. The magnificent home features high ceilings, many wood-burning fireplaces, huge windows, and ceramic tile flooring throughout. Number 10. She ran New York City's first female-owned real estate company. Barbara launched the Corcoran Group in 1978 when her lover and business partner abandoned her. It was the first female-owned real estate firm in New York City. In her first year, she employed seven agents and generated over $350,000 in income. And it would eventually grow to be a $5 billion enterprise under her guidance. Number 11. During the summer, she does not work. Unlike many entrepreneurs who never seem to take a day off, Barbara enjoys getting away from the workplace and enjoying in the benefits of her success. She claims she takes the summers off from work, save for a few TV appearances, and spends most of them at her beach house on Fire Island, an island off the coast of Long Island. Number 12. She purchased the domain names of all her competitors. In 1993, Barbara began marketing real estate on the internet. She outlasted the majority of her competitors by a couple of years. She was also foresighted enough to purchase the domain names that her competitors would want to use when they were ready to begin their sales online. When her competitors were ready to launch a website, they would have to contact her and request the domain name. Barbara stated that she never charged them, but was glad to know when her competitors were developing the companies. Now that you know these facts about Barbara Corcoran, what lessons from her life can you get to get rich like her? Share your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. See you at the next one. Bye!